just uh, received an email that I wanted to comment on. Um, I was talking about Alzheimer's, uh, my mother, um, how she basically created her own disease and that it's curable. But it's the fi family dynamics that um, are creating her illness. And I received an email from somebody who described his grandmother as being retarded with Alzheimer's. And it's like, do you know how offensive that word retarded is? And it's like, what is the family dynamics? Has, has anybody said anything really great and inspiring about your grandmother? Like, what was the cause that created her illness? And there always is a cause to everything. And science as we know it today is not curing shit. Science today is giving tons and tons of medicine that they're profiting off of. But some of the new science we don't really know about yet. It's not highly publicized. Bruce Lipton is one. You can research him. He's doing an awful lot. He was involved in stem cell research. He is going to be changing what we know to, about biology because through studying um, stem cell research, it is looking at DNA and, and the quantum world. And what he's discovered about DNA is going to change what we know about biology. He is saying that the body can heal. And for me, when I was looking at um, my research, I'm very logical and very scientific. So when I look for something in science, for one thing, if you could have a science rule, it should be true all the way, not just true in some cases. And the fact of the matter is, the body can heal. We know that if you get a cut, the body can heal from that cut. We have limitations of how much the body can heal. So what causes these limitations? Well, if you hit somebody over the head with a hammer, they'll get a headache. So we know the cause of the headache is the hitting of the head with a hammer. Currently, right now, we don't recognize that hitting your head with a hammer would actually do you some harm. We would rather give you a painkiller for your headache. And then if you end up dying from a brain injury or, or whatever um, damages that will be created from getting your head hit with a hammer, and you die from it, we'll just say, well, you can't cure it. You know, like it was just your genetics. It was ju just, you know, your brain stopped working. And what is the, the hammer? You can see BP oil putting tons of toxic poison in the air, in the water. The fish are going to eat it, so it's now in our food source. It's in our, so, so we, we're basically polluting our air, land, water, food, everything that we do to ourselves to make a living because that's how it's all happening is a lot of people had to go to a job, a lot of people had to make some money, a lot of people needed to drive their cars, a lot of people needed to buy this oil, you know, so we all went to work, polluted our environment and then when somebody is going to get sick you can't prove that that poison is the cause of your illness it's illegal <laughs> to actually prove that something was the cause of something our court systems are just not set up to recognize right from wrong it's all about the dollar and you'll see that with BP. Nobody's going to be able to sue them. Nobody's going to be able to prove that any illness, any damage that anybody's affected by is going to be caused by BP oil. I mean, they can get sick in, in England because 
all that oil and all that poison is now flowing through the air. So, I mean, anybody that's getting sick anywhere on the planet technically should be able to prove that, you know, hey, the cause is possibly BP oil. Just test your air. What was the air quality before BP and what's the air quality after BP? You know, but our justice systems will never recognize that we're hitting ourselves over the head with a hammer. And it's those illnesses that are incurable because we don't want to change our lifestyle. We don't want to change our environment. When it comes to my observation of memory problems, like with my mother, it was the family dynamics. It, um, in this letter, it was stated nobody wanted to um, live her lifestyle. And it's like the whole entire family dynamics was wrong. Me, my brother and sister, my father, my grandparents, and even my mother and society as a whole because there was abuse and she couldn't speak in a way where somebody actually heard her and had respect for her. She behaved perfectly. She was an excellent mom, an excellent wife, but there's nothing that she could do that was right in the eyes of my father, who was constantly criticizing. And then eventually you'll just say, you know what, my brain's just going to stop working. And that's what she's done. And when I've talked to a, an Alzheimer's group organization here, they also had conversations that it's the family dynamic, how we treat each other. This is the same pattern with, uh, you know, when natives were taken over. They were nice people. They were willing to share their land. They were willing to share their knowledge, you know, but then they got abused, taken over, controlled. And they didn't speak in a way that somebody else would listen to them. And so because of that, that caused an awful lot of medical problems for Native American people. Here in Canada, here in the States, I mean, what was done to them, they tried killing them with, I think it was smallpox and, and alcoholism. Um, there's probably a host of, a lot of illnesses that are now within their genetics that they will suffer from that was caused by how they were treated. So um, to say that, uh, oh, if we just change our family dynamics, we'll make a difference. Yeah, it will. That's what DNA is. DNA is your belief systems. DNA creates your decisions, creates your environment, creates everything. And you can either go on cruise control, like if your DNA has your belief systems and you're just, you know, not even going to question any of your beliefs, just leave it on cruise control and live your day based on all of the knowledge that you have today, that you've gained from your family, your society, everything, you know, you can go and just think you have no choices think you are completely out of control, or you can use the new science that says that you have control over your DNA. You have the ability to question what is true and what isn't true. Um, it is your own beliefs. You don't have to change the friggin' world. You just have to change what you believe in. Because changing what you choose to believe in opens up the door to opportunity. And you can believe you can cure illnesses, or you can believe that you can't. But in order to see that window of how you can cure any illness, you have to be willing to open up that door and see what does it actually mean. And it, it means you need to change your lifestyle. It mean, means what does it take for you to change your lifestyle? Well, you got to kind of believe that maybe the word retarded is kind of something that somebody might want to block out. These people are cruel and mean. I'm just going to be in my own little world playing my piano. The will to live is what creates the chemicals that we experience. We don't think in text, we think in chemical experiences. What makes the brain decide to create a chemical for us to experience? A lot of it is our environment. But 
if you choose to believe you can't ch change your environment, if you can't comprehend how to make other people listen to you, if you can't um, see how to gain your own personal power, then you give up and then you're going to make chemicals that say, I'm just going to give up or chemicals that say, I'm just going to figure out a way to cope and deal here. Basically, that's all our medical system is. That's how we solve every problem is cope and deal and not resolve and not transform. But if you want to open up that window to everything's possible, first you got to make the brain chemicals that say, hey, everything's possible. I make those chemicals all the time. That's why, I, you know, I'm probably outside of the box is I choose to feel outside of the box. I, I choose to say, is this really true? I choose to reflect on myself at all times. I'm pretty screwed up lots of the times. But you know what? I'm the one that's admitting it. I don't see too many other people saying, hey, I screwed up. You know, I'm human and now I'm going to do better. I don't see too many humans doing that. We are all pointing the finger at everybody else and saying, hey, you are all wrong. But we never look at self. Our whole entire universe is designed to look after self. Even our dollar, if we want to make any complaints about what the hell is going on with our dollar, it's because it's set up. Our whole belief systems are set up to say this dollar is there to serve me. I need to go to work and earn my living, you know, and what I do with that living. It may be to support my, my family, but I need it. But if we designed our world where money is, you know, designed so... If I want something, I have to make sure everybody else um, benefits. You know, if I want a house, then the size of my house should be equal to the size of everybody else's house. I should I go to work to make sure my community all has a home to live in. If that dollar represented me going to work to support my community, then I'm looked after you know because I'm part of that community and they're all looking after the fact that I need a house and if we all want an upgrade what if we value the dollar that says hey together let's all get better furniture let's all get better this or better that but if we looked at the dollar as we're going to work to make sure everybody gets it um, then what we believe to be true about a dollar is it's there for everybody but right now that's all set up no it's only available for you the individual we are not sharing beings but we have the potential to change that and be it's all what we want it to be everything about life is going to boil down to your belief systems you've been programmed trained to believe a lot of bullshit and the truth would change our world. Most of us want the truth, but most of us can't handle the truth. But yet we'll all win. That's the beauty part about it, is everybody wins and wins bigger than you can imagine if you can open your brain to a completely different reality. Peace out.